<laughs> 38. So dudes! Today, we're gonna be reviewing an absolute monster truck of an electric bicycle. This 4.8 inch wide fat tire, full suspension, 20 amp hour battery pack e-bike is an absolute unit. But is the Yodo bike any good? Let's find out. First thing I wanna point out, this is a 38 kilogram bike. That's an 83 pound bike. So I just want you to understand if you want all the bells and whistles, it's gonna come with a little bit of weight too. Look at the size of these tires. Tread pattern is actually a little bit different than usual, but like knobby. The roly poly, 4.8 inches wide. These are monster truck tires, dude. Check out the brakes. Comes with 180 millimeter rotors. A little bit different pattern than I normally see. Also a little bit thicker than usual, which is a good sign. We're gonna have a lot of weight to bring to a stop. Let's see what she looks like. You ready for it? Decent. A little bit dust. Check out this suspension setup. This adds weight and is surely gonna add comfort. Down here you can see the other part of the swing arm. I like the green color, but it also comes in black. You can check the color options in the link below. And it's got seven gears on the Shimano cassette, turning to rallier. We'll take a look at that 1000 watt hub motor in a moment, but first let's look at this suspension. RST guide. I'd say this is a little above average, so it does have adjustments. And I have ridden the RST guide on other bikes. Feels pretty decent, really. Headlight is already installed on the bike, and as a dude who reviews a lot of bikes, you, you have no idea how much I appreciate that. Take a look at the seat. Da -da -da. Yep, it's wide. About an average width, super squishy, plush seat. I don't think anybody would be unhappy with this. You get a typical quick release lever for the seat. Coming around to the rear of the bike, the motor is stamped as a 48 volt. 1000 watt hub motor branded truck run. I have seen this motor in the past and it was pretty torquey. And just over on the other side, we can see they are hydraulic brakes. Take a look at those in a few. But first, come back around front here. See what we got going on up in the cockpit area. Handlebars appear to be wide. They give you one key, don't lose it. Oh no, I was wrong. There's the second one's down here. We'll take a look at that massive frame integrated battery in just a moment. Handlebars have a very slight rise and sweep back maybe like an inch. Pretty much flat bars. Ergonomic style hand grips, thumb throttle on the left. Controls, display, seven speed Shimano shifter. A little different brake levers than usual. Check these out, come on out. They're hydraulic. Somewhat interesting shape. I think I might actually like that. Check it out, you can actually see inside the hydraulic hydraulic fluid reservoirs. So definitely hydraulic brakes. We'll check out the calipers in just a second. Let's get this battery out. Come on out. The big boy. 20 amp hour battery pack. It's about as big as you'll see on a single battery system. Shiny reflection here. How, sh how charged is it? Decently charged. And it is labeled as a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery pack, 960 watt hours of energy. It's a lot of energy, but it's a lot of weight. Here's the other supplies they send us. Decent multi-tool. What charger? Now it is the Horses Pro Mountain Electric Bike. Charger, three amps, nice. 20 divided by three. If you ran this bike down to zero, it'd take you about 6.6 .6 hours to charge from empty to full, or about three hours if you only ran it down halfway. The rear light will not be um, powered by the battery on the bike. It's a battery powered one. We'll top the battery off while we finish building, and there is a fan to help with the heat buildup of the charger. Get this front tire on. Oh shoot, can you fit in there? Oh no. Brake caliper is not really clearing. I think we might need to let some air out of the tire. The tire's literally too wide to fit in there. Let's see if that does it. Not quite. Putting you guys at too much risk down there. Never mind, dude. I don't want to risk having the tire come off the bead. Holy smokes, I would not want to have to do that with a normal pump. So we'll just have to pop this caliper off. Not a big deal. It's a little easier if you just flip the whole bike over. See what I mean? Actually, you probably just need to loosen it. And now. The wheel will fit. Oh! Dang it, that, that was stupid. Okay, one more time here. Dang it. There we go. And you do get a quick release axle for your monster truck wheel. Dude, I feel like I'm at a monster truck jam and I just flipped the grave digger over. Whoa! 
nothing there on the back burner. I wouldn't recommend riding this bike upside down. I think the uh, hydraulic brake reservoirs drained when I had it upside down. So when I went to flip it back over, the brakes, it just literally nothing worked when I went to pull the back brake and stop the bike. So just don't ride your bike upside down. You'll be all right, probably. Load this battery up. We'll take a look at that display in a moment, but first let me point out there are absolutely no fenders on this bike, which I actually think is the right way to do this. Keep that weight down. We're already working with the monster truck. All right, let's look at the display. Peel that off, take that off the seven speed shifter. I can feel a USB port on the other side here. Let's power it on. Auto bike, right color display. Wow, I'm actually uh, surprised by how good this looks. Gives us, gives us our battery up here in terms of bars and a voltage, which is the gold standard in my opinion. We can see the battery is 52.9. 9, 53 volts, 54 volts is full, 48 volts is half. These bars are just not as accurate as the actual voltage readout. So great to see. Comes in metric units, kilometers an hour out of the box. We'll change that. Let's tab on through. What do we get? Headlight? Ooh, headlight has a very slight delay. So trip time, total distance. Totally fine. Pedal assist goes from zero up to five. Let's open up the Horses Pro mountain bike manual. Manual lists the controller as a 25 amp, 48 volt controller. That'd be 1200 watts max power on this bike nominal 1000 watt hub motor obviously you can send it more than a thousand watts just can't run it at 1200 watts for like 30 minutes. Weight on this monster truck is listed as 88 pounds. Also says half twist throttle, which we have a thumb throttle. Recommended height of five foot three to six foot four. Max capacity 400 pounds. One thing I would like to point out, the seat cannot go any lower than that with that seat post. You could put a shorter seat post on, but you see that curve in the frame down there. I think the seat post is kind of hitting that and then it won't go any further. So if you need the seat to go down lower, just swap out that seat post, no big deal. All right, here's what we're looking for. We need to change some stuff. Hold the setting up for five seconds. Oh, whoa, auto off countdown going on over here. Setting up for five seconds. Why don't we just hold set? There we go. Much easier. So here's the menus, general, advanced, information. Let's check general, brightness, trip clear, speed limit. Let's see what we can do here. 25, it'll let us, oh, nice. Go to 99 miles per hour. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it on 99 to start, why not? Wheel size, change these units over to Imperial, MPH, mode, normal, hmm, what is this? Power, oh, so there might, there's different modes here. Eco, put it in eco mode, power mode, or normal. We'll leave it in normal for now. I gotta remember to try this out. I wonder what the advanced stuff is. Current limit, 15. No, 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 no. That's too weak. Alexa, what's 15 times 48? 720. That's weak sauce. Oh, it only lets change it up to 18 though. Hmm, I'm putting it on 18. Throttle speed, full throttle, follow. Maybe that's like cruise control? Oh, no password, please. Information, hmm, nothing. Save and exit. All right, let's get an idea of what we're working with here. Pedal is five. Okay. Oh, holy smokes, dude. I showed 38. Oh my goodness. So check it out. This is with no load on the motor, but full throttle pedal is five. Ready, go. Oh. <laughs> 38.6 oh my goodness all right that's a normal mode we got to try uh power mode later and first glance looking at the gearing big chain ring up front little ones on the back in general looks like it'll be geared for high speed let's get out there and see if my suspicions are correct whoa 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 whoa, whoa. let me show you what a six foot five dude looks like on this bike seat is on minimum height like I mentioned, that seat post, you might you could get a shorter one. Getting on this thing, dude, I feel like I am on like a lifted Cadillac. The suspension on this thing, man, is just like so cushy. The seat is like cushy. I'm looking forward to this ride. Seat on maximum height. So here's what it looks like for 34 inseam on the monster truck. And I did want to give you a quick look at the brake calipers. FYI, they are FYY. All right, dudes, let's take this thing out for a ride and see how it performs. Man, <laughs> it just feels so nice to sit on. It's the squishiest seat, it's so plush. Battery is fully charged, 54.3 volts. Fire in the Strava up, we will be able to get an exact reading on the percentage of battery remaining when we get home, you know, our range. Here, 
Or I mean, you know, it's pretty beefy one here. So you got another one like that? Uh, the, not just this one right now. No, I'm gonna take that one out. I'm gonna call you. Dude, I just pulled up to the gate and I swear it registered this thing as a car. It doesn't ever notice me when I pull up here. So first things first, on pedal assist five, throttle only, I weigh 200 pounds. We're just gonna give it a smash of the throttle on normal mode and see what it can do torque wise. Okay, this thing has decent torque on normal mode. It's bringing us right up, showing half power only. And I can notice the weight of this thing coming around the corners. Can I make it? Can I make it? Oh, <laughs> dude, I about lost my head, I swear. I, I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> Let me go with normal mode with a little bit of a rollout here, because it looks like this is one of those ones that won't give you full power until you get up to speed. Yeah, it's just showing like half power for some reason. They're ducking out of the way. Hydraulic brakes are feeling good. So I have the current set on 18 amps as max because that's all they allow. Now we're gonna go set it from, change it from normal mode up to power. I, that's higher. Yeah, buddy, it shows everything in red now that we have it on power mode. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, so from a stop, pedal assist five, full throttle, go. Um, I don't notice a difference actually going to power mode. Uh, it's like half, it's giving me half power. Let's get back down before we get decapitated. So let's see what it does on power mode with a little bit of a rollout here. Full throttle. And it's still showing like half power on there, but bring this up to 20% grade regardless. So getting out here riding the Yodo bike, this thing is an absolute unit of a bicycle. And yeah, you notice that full suspension right away. This thing feels very plush. This is what it looks like compared to a normal bike. Let's see if we can go over this. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is uh, beast mode, man. So plush is going over the curbs with the full suspension, the four bar linkage on the back. Pretty decent rear suspension setup for a budget bike, although it is $2,100. We'll see how these brakes feel as we bed them in. There's a lot of mass to be controlled, a lot of rotational mass with these extra fat 4.8 inch wheels we're basically like forerunner status out here so i am noticing using throttle only it gives you a bit of a lag uh, from the time you press it till the time you actually get power on pedal assist five i'm just gonna smash the throttle now and it's easing on power and we're ramping up ramping up all right before we get crazy let's go ahead and try out the pedal assist mode so on power mode it'll bring you up to it's a cadence sensor so it'll bring you up to 11 miles an hour pedal assist one pretty typical pedal assist two it eases on the power but you really feel it kick in once it kicks in now we're already up to gear number six uh 17 miles an hour feels like 17. this is a comfy bike to be on crank it into pedal assist three in the turn oh too much power let's take it easy here all right coming out of this turn pedal assist three i noticed a little bit of a lag on the pedal assist but pedal assist three will bring us up to 22 before it tapers off what happens if i press full throttle now so it will oh we better try these brakes out we got somebody busting a yui in front of us cranking on up to pedal assist four we can make this light the question is can we see the display through the polarized lenses you guys are knowing before i know technically i'll know before you know because i'm not uploading this until after i see so yeah i i can see the display through my polarized lenses which is a bonus i feel like a lot of these displays i've been checking out lately i cannot see them through my polarized lenses i'm gonna raise the seat up to the maximum height for this portion of the higher speed run out on the street so i can get some pedal power down what a unit of a bicycle throttle it oh shoot what just happened didn't tighten this bolt enough apparently i think it was on one of the ridges or something all right back in business how does it feel off-road it feels like smooth butter man that full suspension makes huge 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 difference riding this thing off-road and the front suspension not so bad we're gonna crank it up to pedal assist five hopefully this seat holds up into the traffic see what kind of speed we can get out of it use a little bit of throttle pretty strong headwind right now 25 26 into headwind pretty strong headwind right now 26 and i pretty much don't feel any any bumps or anything under me on the road with these massive massive tires and full suspension this is just an absolute monster truck out here surf's up dude this thing feels like an absolute trophy truck let's just do what this thing is probably meant to do probably whatever we want oh whoa <laughs> off-roaded monster man 
Gearing feels nice. My suspicions were correct. It seems to be, it has gearing for going fast. I feel totally comfortable pedaling along at 25 right now. Let's try and hop this little curb. Oh, this thing feels so big. We do have a bit of a headwind, but zero to 20. I weigh 200 pounds, throttle only, power assist five. Ready to go. Definitely eases on the power. 10, 15, 18, 20. Actually, it jumped straight to 21. One more run here, GPS in the right hand. Ready, go. 10, 15, 20. The speedometer, for some reason, on here, lags a little bit but you get the general idea it's not like a super powerful acceleration no how do i put this you can feel the power but you can feel the mass too so it doesn't you know it just doesn't feel like zippy throwing you off the back or anything it delivers the power in like a sturdy predictable way <laughs> this suspension is floaty man i get the feeling it'll probably bottom out uh pretty easily if you're trying to do some like trail riding but for city riding like this I feel cushy. Let's do some trophy truck riding. Might as well, right? So you can get into the menus while you're riding. Let's see what eco mode is like for a moment. Yes, gentle. I don't know if it's any different than the power mode though. I think with it, pedal assist five on eco mode. I mean, I, I can't really tell a difference, truthfully. Except for it shows everything in green now as though I'm being more efficient, which I, I don't think the motor's not drawing any less power, I don't think. Does it change the top speed? I don't think so. Strong headwind from the ocean. I'm still hitting 25, which according to my GPS, we're actually going a little faster than that. 26, 28. So this should go 28 as a class three e-bike should i don't know what's going on it feels strong so i'm gonna switch it back from eco to power save and exit that we'll be trying this out there in the sand in a few and by in a few i mean immediately let's go <laughs> no oh man dude i just like want to run everything over with this bike <laughs> here we can do this over here no problem oh yeah so the granny gear is a, not quite aligned out of the box i should have adjusted that it's not hard you just play with the barrel barrel adjusters dude this thing is an absolute monster truck Let's see what we do here <laughs> that sand is so loose like almost no bike could do that Let's see if we can do the uphill section here oh yeah <laughs> oh my goodness come on come on come on come on we got it dude <laughs> nice this is one of the very few bikes I've tried that could actually do that. I did go into it with some speed, which you can actually do though. Like these wide, wide tires really, they give you the confidence knowing you'll be able to not completely lose control of your bike when you hit that sand. These are like the widest fat tires I've ever tried. Let's go pop out here, see if we can get through this. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. Cut back around, get out of this parking lot. Whoa interesting gi joe car yeah it definitely has a little bit of uh it's not that nimble let's put it that way but it's not terrible because you know they skip they cut out like the the rack they don't have the fenders that that really does kind of make this bike a little bit more nimble than it would be if it were weighed down by a bunch of accessories let's see what's happening up here today all right, dudes, we are 5.6 miles into this ride, 52.2 volts. That'll be 92% according to the chart. Let's go ride down these stairs, see how it goes. Oh yeah, the monster truck. And through the sand, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I felt comfortable like going into it, like turning with these big tires. I mean, this thing feels at home out here. Some bikes, you know, they can get through this thing. This thing feels like it should live here. It's like a lifted Jeep Wrangler monster truck. The Saunders is back. I want to ride that. All right, let's see if it can do the sand. Boardwalk feels plush. You know, I can, you can feel the bumps coming through a little bit. Got a lot of traffic, so I think we're just gonna pop off here a little bit early today. I need to probably downshift a few gears and maybe help out on the pedaling a little bit. So it, it doesn't have like, monster torque for like doing stuff like this it can make it through if i stop pedaling what happens 
They can still kind of do it. Just give it a bit of a torture test here for a few. It feels the most stable out here, probably any of the bikes I've tried, just due to the width of these tires. Smashing along, no fenders at all on this thing, but I'm not really feeling anything kicking up on me. Pulling a, a solid 11 miles an hour. Woo! Get up this hill a bit here. And yeah, it's getting us through. Hopefully the controller doesn't cut out. Yeah, I definitely feel the sand kicking up all on me right now. Keep it going, keep it going. Hopefully the motor doesn't cut out. We should be all right. Boom. So it doesn't do as good as like an all wheel drive bike, but solid performance really. That's about as tough of conditions as you could probably put a bike through. Now it does make it a little bit difficult to like maintain a particular speed because it is a cadence sensor. And if I, I find it's either trying to make me go like 11 miles an hour or 17, you might be able to get in the settings and change that. Drop all the gears and throw this thing on Pelsis 5, give it full throttle on this hill, see how it does. Or Coasting along just fine. It's accelerating a little bit, holding about 9.5, almost 10 miles an hour. So solid, solid hill climber. I would say it's about top, top 20%, top 10% of uh, hub drive hill climbing bikes. These fat tires, man, they just, I just can't stop riding this thing in every place I can take it. It's just like a trophy truck, man. Oh, we'll uh, refrain from going on the grass, I suppose. You can just take this thing anywhere. This thing might be comparable in size to one of these guys here. So you know what time it is. We're gonna run it up the California incline. It'll be 85 feet in elevation gain and a 12% grade. Started out here on gear three, up the loop-de-loop, -loop, 10, no, nine miles an hour, no problem. Nimble enough. Oh, what's going on over there? And throttle only, uh, starting That's at the beer. bottom of the California incline. Pedal says 5, 15 miles an hour, 16, 17, 18, strong 1,000 watt hub motor, 19, pulling all the way to this bike up the hill, 19.5, and we accelerated the whole way up. This thing is a blast to ride, let me tell you. So for those of you new here, we were just down there in Another absolutely beautiful day here in West LA. So I'm kind of curious with a headwind going down this hill, what kind of speed can we hit? Look at this bird. 27, 29, holy smokes, dude. This thing is outrageous. 30. All right, all right, all right, we better slow down. There's a wall at the end here. But more importantly, there's a person here we don't want to hit. Skirt. This thing is outrageous for a bicycle, man. I'm thoroughly enjoying this bike. I don't know if you've uh, noticed that by now. It's not perfect though. So let's go test the brakes. Give it a quick little brake test from 20. <laughs> yeah, these brakes are pretty legit, man. I've never heard of this brand but they do just fine and the levers feel great they're hydraulic i think it's cool you can see like the uh, uh fluid in the reservoirs there uh the levers have a unique shape to them compared to a lot of the levers that i try and most importantly they feel smooth and they bring this behemoth of a bicycle to a stop so final thoughts on this electric bicycle i mean if you ever wanted to own a monster truck as a kid this is your opportunity to do it as an adult in bicycle form and that's pretty much the bottom line on this bike. If you do want to grab one, click the link below the video in the description box. Buy through that link. It would help support my reviews here at Tell Happy TV. But before we do that, let's head on home and see what kind of final range we can crank out of this 20 amp hour battery. Keep in mind the range that I end up with today is going to be uh, kind of probably no less than you would normally get because I am just totally throttling it and totally hooting this thing at the same time. Bro, these dudes are flying. The official website says you can do 60 to 80 miles on this bike. I mean, you'd have to be riding pretty conservatively to do that. Realistically, for a bike of this size, if you're gonna be using the throttle a lot, I would say probably 40 or maybe 50 might be more realistic. Just depends on if you're gonna be pedaling or going really fast with throttle only. You could certainly do 60 to 80 miles but not the way I ride. That being said, this is the 20 amp hour battery pack and I don't think you would really want a bigger battery on this bike just because 
it'll weigh it down even more. And you know, you're really just carrying a lot more weight. Personally, I'm happy with the 20 amp hour battery pack on this bike. I know that some of these bikes do come with like 25 amp hours or 30 amp hours, but unless you're really gonna use that range, you're just gonna be carrying a lot of extra weight with you. And on the contrary, going a smaller battery on a bike of this weight, you're probably gonna run into range problems. Plus riding a bike is a lot more of a fun way to get exercise than this, in my opinion. I mean, what do you guys think? Whoa! <laughs> So what kind of speeds can we hit towards the end of the battery life? Going uphill just a bit here. Battery is about, it's, got, it's showing two bars. We're hitting 28, 29 on flat ground now. The headwind earlier kind of slowed us down a bit, but this thing freaking cooks, man. 29, give it a little pedal. I want to see 30, 29.8, and it'll hold 29 under throttle. All right, dude, so final range. I was absolutely ripping out there today for an hour, 25 minutes, did 18 and a half miles. Average speed, 13 miles an hour. That's higher than usual. We have two bars remaining showing 47.5 volts. And according to the official 48 volt battery chart, which is what's on this bike, 47.5 remaining is basically exactly 50% charge remaining. So I mean, that falls in line pretty much what I would expect from a 20 amp hour battery pack on a bike like this. Probably do 40 miles ripping around like this. Certainly if you slow it down, give it some assistance, you could do more. So if you are looking for an absolute monster truck of an e-bike, click that link below this video, buy this e-bike, you will will be happy. You will be thanking me later when you're having adventures on this bike this summer. However, if this is not the kind of bike you're looking for, you know what to do. Catch you next time.